just jump right in, amen? Holy Spirit, we plead your holy blood. Lord Jesus Christ, we only go through you. We thank you for all of eternity. And Father God, it's in the name above every name, Lord Jesus Christ, that Father God, time stands still. That Father, for all of eternity, we will worship you, Father God, for your perfect sacrifice through Christ our Lord. And Heavenly Father, right now, through the anointing, the power of your presence, Father God, Holy Spirit, we bind up every demonic principality, Father. We plead your holy and precious blood, Lord Jesus Christ. And we know, Father God, right now, we know, Father God, right now, that the kingdom of darkness is fleeing. But, Father God, right now, we just charge your mighty angels, Father, to go before us, to not only push evil far, far, far away from us, but, Father God, that your anointing, Holy Spirit, your sword is released in the atmosphere, cutting off every foul thing in Jesus' name. We call our house blessed. We call our families blessed. We call our church family blessed because we are covered by your blood, Father God. And we thank you, Father God, for all of eternity that you love us. And, Father, we thank you above all that you're coming back for us soon. And it's in Jesus Christ. Holy and precious name that we all pray and all God's beloved said. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good. All, right. all the time. God is good. Glory to God. Well, you guys see the pictures through the worship service. And uh, today we're going to be talking about slot car racing. How many of you know how many of you know slot cars? Show of hands. If you don't, know, where you been? I'm not teasing you or nothing right now, right? But um, you, 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 saw the, you saw the picture. These are little slot cars, right? And through the worship service, the Holy Spirit wants it. We're going to be going uh, in depth. I'm not going to throw a lot of scripture at you. Hallelujah. I'm not. And uh, before I start, I have to do something. I heard Brother Dan this week. And it was never my heart to hurt anybody. And I stand here before you because the Holy Spirit said, you need to get right. Because see, sometimes we can think that it's not my fault, it's yours. It's not, I'm going to tell you right now, it's my fault. Because my heart is never to hurt any one of you. And I'm sorry if I hurt any of your friends or family in the past. I'm just a man and I'm just trying to keep up. And I'm not making excuses. And I want to say sorry to my elders. Pastor, I want to say sorry. Because I made it so hard for you guys. But through your worship, through your anointing, through trusting the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray through it. Beloved family, like I said, I don't stand here before you making excuses, Brother Zach. My intent is never to intentionally hurt anybody in this church. And there will be times when I have to say something or make a decision that goes against what you like. But I pray in Jesus' name you don't attack me, that you just look through me. Because through all these faults and failures, guess what? I'm just a brother and sister. Right? We're all brothers and sisters, amen? And I pray in Jesus' name that our relationship isn't in the physical, but it's in the spiritual, amen? The Holy Spirit is the one that binds us together, that keeps the peace, amen? And once again, please, if any of you have family or friends that not spoken on church because I did something, I'm saying with all my heart, I'm sorry. Because I fear that day when I stand before my Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm telling you right now, I don't have anything against anybody. I really don't. I really don't. I have nothing against anybody. I forgive everybody. You know why? I need to be forgiven when I stand before my God. Amen. And I pray that you guys would receive what Holy Spirit is trying to tell us before we get into worship service. That we can carry on. We can carry on. Because I will tell you, 
what the devil wants is for me to continue holding on to her. For me to continue thinking, Brother William, that, well, I was right, you're wrong. I rebuke that in Jesus' name. The only one that's right, his name is Lord Jesus Christ. Can I get amen? So please, please, I want to ask something from the entire church family now. If you have family, if you have friends, that you don't know where they're at, you don't know what's going on, I pray that they're planted in a, in a holy based church. Amen? Father, Son, Holy, I pray that they are. But if they're not, reach out to them. Tell them to listen to this message. Because I'm telling you right now, I am sorry. There's no excuse. Do you hear me? There's no excuse. And, and I'm not making any excuses. But please forgive me. Please forgive me. Do you forgive me? Yes. Praise God. Half of you do. I'll pray for the other half. I don't know what else to do after that. Right, Brother Ryan? I mean, I gave it all to Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Pastor, I'm sorry. Amen. I love you. I love you. Elder, Elder Charlie, I'm sorry, man. Elder Lance, I'm sorry. Hey, Pastor. Yes, Pastor. Right? Whatever it may be, right? 
and you go to your doctor, hallelujah, doctor said, look, sit it, and amen. You don't say, oh, thank you, doctor, or medicine for healing me. No, rebuke that. Thank you, Father God, for healing me. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father God, for healing me. He is the great physician. Amen. So we're going to go real quickly. The reason why we're doing Luke 9, 23, and remember, the other two books in the gospel say the same thing, is because Luke is a physician. Ooh, hallelujah. I love it. The Holy Spirit. Many of us are. And I will tell you, I will tell you, whatever label you give me, as a man of God, as a son of God, as your brother in Christ, I can tell you things that God Himself will speak through me in order to bless your life to the abundant living. I can prescribe you, Brother Randall, I can prescribe you things that come from heaven. And if you put it into action, God Himself will bless you. Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 And so check this out. Why is it that we live in a culture that someone would rather take a physician's word over a pastor? Right? There's something wrong. Now I stand before you uh, once again. We are all the same. God loves me just as much as He loves you. Right? We're not better than nobody. He's the perfect one. Amen? The beauty is that we receive the perfect one. Amen? So the glory is that you know God loves you the same just like her. Her God is. Right? And so when you have this in your heart that God loves everybody the same, you know that God will do miracles for you as He would be. Right? God will perform miracles. And once again, I say this because of the name of our very name, Lord Jesus Christ. I believe with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength that you say His name, miracles take place. That you say His name, say His name, Lord Jesus Christ. See, right there, right now, God flow through the desires of your heart, the Holy Holies, and He already knows what you're believing for right now. That's our God. Sometimes we get so religious with God where we have to like list out everything that we... God is God already. He knows where you're at. Amen? He knows as far as what you're needing in life. He knows what your relationship is like. He knows what your marriage condition is. He knows as far as what is happening in your life. I encourage you that when you come across a season where you have distractions in your life, maybe you're battling something, just call on the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Can we do that right now? Lord Jesus Christ. Can we do that again? Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we do it for the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. So this is what Holy Spirit wanted to show in Luke 9, 23. Praise God. He said, Lord Jesus Christ said this now. Whoever wants to be my disciple must. Last time I checked, when God says must, is there any negotiation? That's a non-negotiable. Right? Must deny themselves. And. Say with me, and. and. That means there's something that comes along with the must. Right? Praise God. <laughs> right? Must and. Right? Sister Amy, right? Must and. And take up their cross. Now this is the thing that's different with the book of Luke and the other two books of the gospel. Physician Luke, Dr. Luke, say Dr. Luke. Dr. Luke. Dr. Luke says daily. 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 Now have you ever heard from the doctor you need to take your medicine daily? Right? I mean, come on, I'm not beating anybody up, am I? Right? You go to a doctor, maybe you got something going on, the doctor says you need to take this daily, right? Okay. Right? <laughs> right, Sister Rose, if you don't take it daily, what happens? It don't work, or sometimes you gotta start all over. Right? Here Dr. Luke is saying, take, take up your cross daily and follow me. Amen? Amen. Holy Spirit quickly now just wants to show this. When you put the written word into action through the living word that is inside you. Through Holy Spirit that lives in the inside. Amen? Amen? What the Word of God says, I must deny myself, take up the cross, 
and follow Lord Jesus. Amen. Which means, Zach, I'm mad at you. And I don't forgive you. How dare you? Why can't I pick up the cross? Why can't I pick up this cross, man? Right? You see what you played, Brother Ryan? Ryan, how come your beard looks better than mine? I'm jealous. Zach, I'm sorry I wronged you. I'm sorry I lashed out at you. You didn't deserve that. I'm not even making excuses. That was wrong, and I'm sorry.
about me. No, he didn't. If you worship and you examine in worship and allow the Holy Spirit to teach you the Holy Bible, from beginning to end, it's always been Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You can go in the Old Covenant and be as crunchy as you want, and I will show you it's always been Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It's towards Jesus, and the reason why, beloved church family, there is no question about how much God loves you. Can I hear you?
this church out of here. Amen.
wants to teach us today is we have to remove ourselves from the familiarity with the cross. You know, there's religions right now that they have statues, they have jewelry of Lord Jesus on the cross. I ministered to a youth not too long ago. He kept taking his necklace and kept kissing it like this. And I finally said, why are you doing that? He said, well, this is the way that I just want to show God how much I love him. And I said, but do you know that God lives inside of you? He said, I've never heard that before. Once again, beloved church family, I am never one to judge anybody in their relationship with God. But we have to be bold enough to let people know, yes, he died for you, but he's not on that cross anymore. Amen. 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 He is resurrected in glory and seated at the right hand of the Father. Amen. Amen. And if you go to his perfection, hallelujah, if you go to his perfection, understand that his spirit lives in you for all of eternity. that I just find so awesome is if you can see that right there, these arrows will point to it. And it's the slot, right? And Holy Spirit just wanted to show this real quick.
Stop talking about God. Start talking about the devil. Some of you are looking at me like, have you lost your mind? Yes, I have. Because you know what? They're so mad at God, and they're so lied to from the devil, that they're blaming God for the stuff that the devil is doing. So you have to sit there with your children and go, do you know that there's a devil? If they look at you and go, no, I don't think that there's a devil, then why are you living such a garbage life? Do you want to get better? Because remember, family, I used to be in the season. That's what I said sorry about. I cannot control your relationship with God Almighty. But the glory of God is I can preach to you the truth. That this one perfect man who did nothing wrong, he carried this cross for you and me. The one perfect and only good man in all of eternity, his name is Lord Jesus Christ. He carried this cross for you and me. And if you have the audacity to sit there and still be on, what? I don't understand. I don't understand that you can see what God did through Lord Jesus, His Son. How many of you have children in here? Can you allow your child to go through that and watch it and not say one word? Not say stop? You know, I hear all these parents that don't have Lord Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. And guess what, Sister Tish? They tell me, oh, I love my children so much. I would do anything for my children. Then why don't you receive Jesus? Look at my car and look at the 
fields, and look at the contacts, and you see that nail right there. You can look at it all you want, but sooner or later you're going to say, right, Zach? Well, I see it, but why don't you do something? Say it with me, do something. Do something. You see, when you're grounded, now you're ready. See, what I love about slot cars is when they're in that slot, they have a connection. Right? And that connection is powerful. Amen? Amen. That connection is powerful. Praise God. Right now at this time, I'm going to ask Mom and Dad, can you sit right here for me? Trish, can you sit right here? Brother Chris, can you sit right here? Sister Sarah, can you sit over here? Before we close, just a heads up, Holy Spirit told me to tell you because I'm doing it. We have one worship song today. I know normally we have two. But the reason why God said that to you is because it's time to make up your mind. Amen? Amen. I'm telling you right now, don't wait for the next song. You see how merciful God is? Don't wait for the next song. We have one worship song that's going to play when we're all said and done here. I pray in Jesus' name that you come to this altar in a whole other way of denying yourself. Maybe it's something that you held on for so long and you're like, I'm done with it. Amen? Maybe it's something about your characteristics that you think that you have to have it because of the family you had. Whatever it is, I don't know. But God is saying, will you bring that? Will you bring that today? You see, this world is filled with distractions. What you see on this table here is any kind of addiction. I just have this. Don't get alarmed. It ain't Jim Bean. It's his hand sanitizer. <laughs> Somebody looked at me like, he done lost it, Elder Brown. He thought he brought, he brought, what is it? What is it? I don't know. But whiskey. Well, pray for you, brother. You know? <laughs> but it's turned around so you can just see the illustration, right? And over here on this side, because we live in the day and age that we live in, it's technology. Right? I can have a cell phone up here, whatever. Right here, you just have a beautiful woman. Amen. You guys know her as Sister Sarah, amen? But she's just going to help with this illustration. Praise God. And glory to God, just speak the blessing over her, right? You got a beautiful woman. Over here, you have a handsome brother, amen? And in this illustration, he's going to be the bad boy, handsome brother. Uh, <laughs> amen? Bad boy. Bad boy, bad boy. What you think? Right here, you have my beloved wife. Amen. Give her a round of applause. Amen. 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 I thank God. I am so in love with you. I am so in love with you. Keep it to you. <laughs> and over here, you have my beloved mom. Amen. You see, what Holy Spirit wanted to show in this illustration is that what Lord Jesus Christ did on that cross. You just saw through the word of God that God denied himself. His perfect son denied himself. And his spirit denied himself. And Lord Jesus Christ himself took up this cross. And he carried this cross for you and me. Now what I need you through worship, because Holy Spirit is the only teacher, is Lord Jesus Christ he made a way and he carved it in the ground. Amen. And this illustration shows you. Remember, if you deny yourself, if you say enough of me, enough of my stinking thinking, enough of my right, enough of what I want to do, God, I surrender to you. I don't care if someone hurts me. I don't care what takes place. Father, I did that wrong and I'm going to go say sorry. Father, I'm going to crucify myself. I'm not going to allow this flesh to control me anymore. Remember what takes place. You can pick up your cross now, right? But if some of you are sitting here today, I don't care what this loud mouth preacher is saying. I'm just going to lead the way that I want to be because this is just the way that I'm going to be. 
My family's always been this way, and I'm going to be the same. My mom and dad had that. My grandpa had that. He died from this, so I'm going to. If you choose that, guess what? You cannot. You cannot get this. Because God right now is telling you, leave that at this altar. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen. Lord Jesus Christ said, if you want to be my disciple, how many of you sitting here in God's holy church wants to be God's disciple? Amen. Amen. He said you must deny yourself. Pick up your cross daily. Which means God is saying right now, this is an everyday process, family. But this is what's so beautiful about how the Holy Spirit wants this word to come alive in each one of us and for all of eternity. Please share this. Share this, okay? Because my Lord carved out that road. Look at what happens. I just want you to see this. Amen? As I deny myself, as I deny myself, as I deny myself, you can see what happened. You can see the foot of the cross. Stand up if you cannot see the foot of the cross. But here is the swap that Lord Jesus Christ carved out for us. And you see the way this world works? Is that here's mom over here. Well, what if mom, what if mom isn't a godly woman? What if mom is just filled with negativity? What if mom is, we're so close that I just want to get with mom and I just want to gossip about people. Look at what happened. I can't, I can't, mom, I love you, but I can't do that right now. What about addiction? Addiction is trying to call out on me. Addiction is trying to call out on me. I can't go there because God carved out my back. What if the devil wants me to make my wife an idol in my life? I, I love you, honey, but I gotta stay on my court. I love you. Let's just walk side to side together. Hey? But what if, what if my buddy, what if my buddy say, hey, bro, stop going to church, man. You're good, you're safe. You don't need to go to church. You can just go to the club. Come on, man. Let's just go. Brother, I love you, but I gotta carry my cross, man. I can't do it no more. I can't do this. What if, what if, oh, what if a girl, a beautiful lady, Tries to show attention to me. Huh? What if a beautiful lady tries to approach me? Listen, I love you, beloved daughter of God, but I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta stay on my board. What if addiction tries to approach me through social media? What if someone tries to get my attention? You know what? In the name of Jesus, I gotta stay my Let's just give God praise. Amen. Because there's 
some of us right now that are saying, yes, Jesus is enough, but, that's a big but now, rebuke that but, because guess what, it doesn't matter how you feel. You know why? Because Lord Jesus Christ, because we are eternal. I hear this all the time, Brother Joey, I'm struggling with something right now. I said, you're struggling it because you're loud. Let's just, you know what I like to say? Ignore it. Can you say that with me? Ignore it. Ignore it. Ignore it. Because the power of your anointing is when you ignore that and you focus on Lord Jesus. Watch what God supernaturally does in your mind and in the Holy of Holies, in your heart. Amen? Amen. Let's give that praise. Hallelujah. Church family, let's just come. We might not even make it out of the building today. I don't. 